everybody, it's Deb here with Creative Life and today we start our new album. It is going to be an 8 by 9 and a half album and we are going to be using the Cartabella Home Again paper. <laughs> so you will need two packets of that paper for this album. Um, I just want to say real quick, I hope you guys are doing well. I think of you often and I hope that you and your families are staying safe and healthy. Alrighty. So thanks again to all my new subscribers for joining me. I appreciate every single one of you and I love all of your comments. So keep them coming. <laughs> so, um, so let's go ahead and get on down to our album. Okay. Alrighty y'all. Okay. So let me go ahead and turn on my light. Okay, so I have already cut just about everything out for us for this first half of our um, album. So you are going to need two pieces of black chipboard that are eight by a nine and a half. Okay, so you need two of those. You're going to need your spine at eight, I mean at two and an eighth by nine and a half, and you're going to need one of those. Alrighty. To cover our album, you're going to need two pieces that are going to be 10 and 3 quarters by 12, okay? And I just did it at 10 and 3 quarters by 12. Uh, we will have about an inch and a quarter, I think, on um, the sides and up on top and below when we place our chipboard in the middle, as you will see. But um, I didn't want to cut down a whole lot because then that would leave you with tiny, tiny scraps. And I didn't want to add more to our scraps than what we already got. So, <laughs> so um, I just left them at 12. That way, you know, we don't waste a whole lot of paper, right? So, okay. So let's go ahead and get this started. So now that we've cut this, okay, we're going to go ahead and put our cover together. And to do that, you are going to go ahead and put these two together just like this. We're going to run a strip of score tape right down the edge here on your left one. All right. And it could be your right one. It, it doesn't really matter. You can do either like this or like this. It doesn't really matter. Um, so let's just go ahead and do, we'll do this one here, the, the right one. Okay. Again, you will be doing a nine, or 10 and 3 quarters by 12. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and put that down here. Just like that. Alrighty. <clears throat> okay. And then you can go ahead and burnish that in. All right, then you're going to go ahead and take this off. And you're going to go ahead. I have a little bit of excess on the bottom there. I'm just folding that up on top of there. And then you can just put this right on top. Now I start at the bottom here. And I'll show, I'll, let me move in a little bit closer so you all can see. Okay. This is where my tape is right here. I go and start on the bottom and I just place my edge of my tape or my paper right on the edge of that tape and just make sure that it's on the edge there. Alrighty. Just like that. Okay. And you're just going to go ahead and burnish that in just like that. Alrighty, okay. Now for your um, your chipboard pieces, you're going to want to go ahead and put tape on the back of these. So I'm going to go ahead and um, put tape on these and I'm just going to go ahead and do one here with y'all. And then I will go ahead and do the two bigger ones and be right back once I do them. So again, you're just going to go ahead and place score tape. Now, if you have one inch, two inch score tape that is larger, you can definitely use that on the back of your chipboards. Okay. And I'm just going to go ahead and put these up here like this. You don't have to butt it up against 
right close to each other. You can leave a little bit of space if you want to. So sometimes I'll, I'll leave a little bit of a, maybe a sixteenth of an inch space or something. So it's not, so it doesn't use all my tape, but um, you definitely want to get some good, some good coverage on your chipboard. Okay. The one thing that you want to make sure is that when you, um, after you get done putting on your score tape, you want to burnish your tape in really, really good. Okay. Because you want to make sure all those air bubbles are out. Okay. Of your chipboard. All right. And your tape. Okay. No air bubbles. That way you get a really nice ad adhered uh, adoration. Or <laughs> okay, so once you have your score tape on the back of here, you want to burnish this down really, really good. Okay, that way it adheres to your paper really good. Okay, so there's that. Alrighty, so I'm going to go ahead and do my two big ones and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I covered all of the back of the chipboard pieces. And first we're going to go ahead and lay down our spine. And we're going to lay it down right in the middle of that seam that we've got right here. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and peel off the back of my tape. Okay. And... Then we're going to go ahead and any little tidbits that you have hanging off of the edges, you just go ahead and I just fold mine over. Um, I do cut um, them when I'm after I'm done taping, but sometimes I'll miss some. So I just go ahead and and um, put, pull those back. OK, so I try to go ahead and put this right in the middle of this area here okay of that seam and once you think you're right in the middle then you can go ahead and just press down okay and again I'm just sure just want to make sure I'm right in the middle of that so just kind of stand up here make sure that everything is good Okay, and I think I might be up a little bit higher up here than I am down here, but that's okay because we have more than enough room for that. So, okay, you want to go ahead and just burnish that down real good. Once we burnish this down, okay, so we're just going to go ahead and burnish that down. Once you burnish that down, then you're going to go, so you're going to go ahead and grab your front cover piece. Okay. And then you're going to put that onto your left hand side and we're going to uh, get your ruler. And what I want you to do is I got to grab my ruler. <laughs> so what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and butt your ruler up at the bottom part. Okay. And you are going to go ahead and measure a quarter inch okay sorry if you hear all the noise my dog is trying to find a spot to lay down so <laughs> sorry for the noise you guys <laughs> so once you um, have your ruler okay I like I have mine at a, the five inch right here edge um, of this piece right here of our spine so my five inch is right there what you want to do is scoot your other piece over to where it's going to leave a quarter inch. Okay, so right there. So this is how I do mine. Okay, now I do have a clear ruler, all right? And I like the clear ruler because it does help guide me a little bit better. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and bring that up. All right. And let's see, I'm just going to try to make that even there, just like that, on either side. 
Okay, so what you want to do, again, I'm going to go ahead and bring this over, and you can bring it over to the one inch. Okay, and I'm just getting that at the one inch right there. All right, and you want to draw a line. Okay, so you want to just grab a pencil. All right, I have my pencil, and I'm just going to draw a line, a little tick mark at a quarter inch. So this one would be at the three quarter inch because I have my one inch at the edge of the spine right here. Okay. So I'm going to draw at three quarters inch. That's going to leave me a quarter inch, right? So I go here and bring my ruler to the edge where I drew my little tick mark and it is a quarter inch. Okay. So, and that's where we're going to lay our piece okay and that's going to give us our quarter inch gusset right here for so when we fold our book it folds nicely and um so yeah so then you're going to do the same thing on the other side so you're going to bring in this piece okay i'm going to scoot this over this way bring the ruler's edge to the edge of your spine on the right hand side okay and you're just going to go ahead and bring that over. All right. And I'm going to scoot my piece over. There's my quarter inch right there. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a little tick mark right there. Okay. At that quarter inch. All right. Just like that. Okay. So there is that. Okay, so then now we can go ahead and we can lay down our pieces. Okay, to get my pieces straight, I always um, use my ruler as a guide. Um, it just helps me keep everything uniform. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that there. I'm going to peel this off real quick. The backing is on my feet. So there we go. So there is that piece. And next we're going to go ahead and bring over this piece. So I'm going to take the tape off of here. There we go. So there is that. So there is our pieces laid down. So you're just going to go ahead and burnish those in real good. <laughs> Alrighty. The other thing I do is I'm going to go ahead and flip this over and you can burnish it in this way as well. This also helps get a lot of the air bubbles out. Alrighty, so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and I want you to grab your bone folder, okay? So I want you to grab your bone folder and you're going to go ahead and go around your, um, you're going to go ahead and go around the top and the sides and the bottom of your chipboard, okay? And what you're doing is you're just breaking up those fibers so you can get ready to fold this paper over on top of your chipboard. Okay, so again, we're just going to go ahead and we're just kind of going back and forth, making sure that it's all good, ready to get folded over. Alrighty, okay, so then the next thing we're going to do is you are going to go ahead and I want you to just kind of bring it over a little bit, okay, 
And we haven't really um, put any um, any of our tape down or anything like that. And that's okay, because we are going to do that, okay? So, I'm just going to go ahead and fold it up just a bit. If you need to go ahead and do some more, you can definitely do that. Okay. Just like that. You just want to make sure that it's that those fibers are broken up. Okay. And your paper. Okay, so then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut the edges. Okay, now there's lots of different ways you can cut this. Um, a lot of people do it um, where they leave a space you know, in here. And I do the same thing. I just cut mine a little bit different. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and you're going to angle your scissors and see where you made that X with when you went around your edges with your bone folder. You're going to go ahead and cut that piece. And I'm just I'm moving some inks out of the way here. Okay. So I can bring this up like this okay and then here you're going to go ahead and you're going to go ahead and angle again and just go towards that x so you have a little piece like this okay and you have your angle done all right um a lot of people are really good at this part <laughs> i'm not so good so, <laughs> so again you're just going to go ahead and angle go towards that x okay that you made with your bone folder. Okay, just like that. Alrighty. Alrighty, so now that you've got those done, you can grab your three and a quarter inch tape, okay, and you can place that um, around your um, area here, okay. You can place it here on your chipboard all the way around, okay, and you can also place it here um, on your paper, okay. Now, if you're you, if you don't want to use um, glue you don't you can just use your score tape okay and for this part i use both and um i use i'm going to use the tape up here i've done it both ways where i've just used glue only on both areas and i've not had any problems with my books keeping um you know keeping down the you know the cover part of this all right, so you can use your glue for everything, or you can use your score tape, or you can do a combination. So, alrighty, so I'm just going to go ahead and put my, my tape on here. do that I'm sorry um, I want you to lift up on your chipboard again okay and this time what I want you to do is grab your bone folder and you're gonna go ahead and um, bring that right on the edge of your paper kind of bending your paper as you um, uh, have your bone folder go against the chipboard Okay, so you're kind of pushing it as you're, um, you're bending it over and pushing that, that paper up against your chipboard, okay? So you're kind of bending it over a little bit, okay? And this just makes it so much easier, y'all, um, for your paper to lay down and be able to lay over with no problems, okay? So you're just going to go ahead and do that. All right. 
and I'm just pushing up against that chipboard and as I'm pushing up against the chipboard I'm laying down my paper okay Alrighty, and I'm going to turn my 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 paper over that way. It's it's just easier for me to to do it this way. So again, I'm grabbing it, pushing that paper up against that chipboard, bending it over a little bit. Okay. Alrighty, just kind of gently all right you don't want to rub too too hard but you want to do it gently okay just like that Alrighty. um you're going to push back a little bit and then do the other piece now when you get to that seam part where the two papers overlap that is a little bit harder to do but so but you want to just do it gently okay just bring that over gently Again, you're pushing with your, your bone folder up against that chipboard, okay? And you're going to bend it over gently. Alright, okay, so now that we've got that done, I'm going to turn my book around again. Alright, now you've got your, your paper uh, really well uh, trained to fold over. So now you can grab your glue, okay, and you can, and what I do is, let's look for my little needle here, okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my glue actually in that crease, okay? So I'm going to put my glue in that crease, all right, just like this, all right? And I'm going to take this tape off here, and I put my tape, and I just do squiggly line, just a squiggly line, okay? And all righty. And now you can go ahead and you can bend that down, okay? And I just kind of fold it over and it should be really good to go. So now you want to go ahead and just take your bone folder again and burnish that down gently, okay? And then of course you want to get your little wipey or whatever you're using to wipe off the excess glue. Okay, so you want to do that, alrighty, just like that, alright, and you're going to do the same thing on the bottom here, so again, you're going to take your glue, you're going to go ahead and put that right in the crease on the bottom part, in between the chipboard, right below that chipboard area, and take your tape off, And then, I, like I said, I just do squiggly lines. Do squiggly line all the way down. Okay. And then I fold it over. And I'm just going to bring this over. And you have excess glue poking out. Okay. You can get your little towel or whatever you're using to pick up that excess glue. Okay.
right same thing with this one and i'm just gonna go ahead and take this off now okay same thing you're just gonna go ahead and grab your glue put it next to that um chipboard there do squiggly line <laughs> I just like saying that word squiggly line. <laughs> so, okay, and you're just going to go ahead and just fold that over. Okay, so you're just going to go ahead and just fold that over, just like that. Alrighty. Just like that. Grab your wipey and, um, there we go. So there is that side. Yay! Okay, next thing, same thing. Okay, I'm going to grab that bone folder, just press down. Oh, there is your book alrighty so now what you can do is you can go ahead and you can grab your bone folder and you're just gonna go ahead and you're gonna rub in between your pieces you just put down so that way you can close your book okay and once you are doing this okay um, because your gap is a quarter of an inch, you just want to make sure that you're getting in there really good, okay? And then you can start, go ahead and lifting that, all right? So you can lift that up just like that, okay? Just like that. All right, and there you go. And then same thing with the other side. You just want to go ahead and use your bone folder to get into that quarter inch area there okay you want to make sure that you um, go ahead and crease this really well with your bone folder okay and then just gently lift up your book okay as you're creasing it okay there we go just like that and there is our book so we are done with the album now. So now we can go ahead and we can focus on the pages. So we're going to go ahead and focus on the pages and the hinge, and I will be right back. Okay, y'all. So for hinge, you're going to need a 9 and 1 eighth by a 9 and a half inch piece of paper. Okay, you're going to set the 9 and a half inch side across your scoreboard, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and zoom in just a bit so y'all can see a little bit better. There we go. Okay, so for this part, we are going to start scoring at 2. All right, so you're going to score at 2. You're going to score at 2 and 3 eighths. So 2 and 3 eighths. You're going to score at 2 and 7 eighths. You're going to score at three and three eighths. You're going to score at three and three quarters. You're going to score at four and a quarter. You're going to score at four and three quarters. You're going to score at five and one eighth. Oops. Five and one eighth. You're going to score at five and five eighths. All right. Six and an eighth. Six and a half. You're going to score at seven. Seven and a half. Seven and seven eighths. And that is it. So this hinge will give you about, I think it's a three eighths inch gusset. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and fold that up now. Now, what I want you to do here 
Okay, and I'm going to zoom in closer to my hinge. All right. Um, so what I want you to do here is, let's see, I'm trying to get the light. Let's see here. A little bit. Here we go. Uh, there we go. Okay, so what I want you to do is on your score lines here, okay, I want you to count in three, okay? So basically, it's where the two big, bigger lines are connected right here. So, it's, so you're going to count in from the first one, one, two, three. We're going to put a one number one on that score line, okay? So... There is that, okay? From that score line, you're gonna go ahead and count over again three, okay? So, let's see if I can get, so you're gonna go ahead and there's our one. You're gonna count one, two, and three. So you're gonna put a number two there. All right, you're gonna count over three again, and you're gonna count one, two, three, and you're gonna put a three on that one. And you're going to go ahead and do the same thing for the next one. So one, two, three, and that's going to be your four. All right. So those are actually going to be your hinges for your pages, okay, where we have our numbers at. Okay, so the next thing I want you to do is go ahead and I want you to, where the number one is, I want you to fold that upward. So what you're going to do is just bring this up form a mountain where that one is okay and I always explain this to you guys exactly like I'm explaining it to you now um, so I always use mountains and valleys when I'm explaining this so you're gonna fold up okay where the number one is where the number two is you're gonna do the same thing so you're gonna go ahead just fold that up okay actually you're just gonna go ahead and fold that fold that over that's what I want you to do is just fold it over. Okay, where number three is on that line, fold that over. Okay, where that number four is, go ahead and fold that over. All right, just like that. So now though you have, you know where your hinges are, right? So what you're gonna do is for the number one, you're going to lay this black back out flat, okay? And um, you're, you are going to bring that number one up, okay? You're going to squeeze that together and push down, all right? So squeeze it together and push down. So now you have the score lines on either side of that mountain that we just created, okay? They are flattened, okay? You're going to go ahead and bring that, okay, up, and you're going to go ahead, push that together, and you're going to go ahead and fold that one way. So now you're folding it over on top of that other piece, okay? So you're folding it like that, and then you're going to bring it, and you're going to fold it back over on to the right-hand side, all right? just like that so now you've got your first hinge made okay so same thing with your second hinge you're gonna bring that up push it together and push it down okay just like this all right so that's how you're gonna do that you're gonna go ahead and fold it over to the left side all right score it down or, I mean, burnish it down. <laughs> Fold it over to the right-hand side. And you're going to burnish that down. Okay, now you've made your second hinge for your second page. And you're going to do the same thing with the three and four hinge. You are going to go ahead, push that down. So it's flat now. Okay. Bring it over to the left-hand side. Burnish that down. Fold it over to the right hand side. All right? Same thing with the last one. Squeeze it together, push down, 
fold it over to the left side, burnish it down, fold it to the right, and burnish that down. Okay, now you've got all your hinges done. When you turn this over, you're going to notice you have bellies, okay? That's where you're going to put your tape or your glue. Now, I have used glue in the past, and you can do that if you'd like, okay? It's totally up to you. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my score tape, okay? And I go ahead and just place my score tape. I'm going to go ahead and make that straighter. There we go. So, for the first valley, okay, which is right here, we are going to go ahead and place our tape along the inside of that valley. Now, be careful you do not get your tape on your score line, okay? You don't want the tape on top of that score line. You want it in, like right above that score line where your valley is, okay? So then you're going to go ahead and just cut that off, okay? Alrighty. So then you're going to go ahead and do the same thing with your next score line. Um, I mean, with your next valley, you're going to go ahead and place that tape right above that score line. Okay, right in, um, in your valley. Okay, you do not want to pull your tape. Okay, when you place your tape down. Alrighty, so there we go. And the same thing with the next valley. You're going to go ahead and place that tape right in that valley, right in that area. Alrighty, so now you can go ahead and once you're done, putting your score tape on, you can definitely burnish all that score tape in, okay? There we go. So now you've got your score tape in there, right? And I'm going to go ahead and shut that so you guys can see this a little bit better. Okay, now you can go ahead and take your tape off. Alrighty. And here is where, since we already scored everything, we know where our valley is, you're just going to go ahead and fold that into each other. Okay, so you took off your tape, and now you're just going to go ahead and bring that up, that other one up towards the tape. Okay, so now you've got, it looks like this, okay? So it looks flat like that. And that is your first hinge. So that is hinge number one. So it should look like this. Okay. So next thing you're going to do is the same thing with number two. Okay. You can definitely lay this down. Bring, since you have your tape on there, you can just bring this over. Since we already have everything burnished in, we already know where it's supposed to go. Right. So now you have the second one done. Same thing with the third one. Lay it flat again. Bring up the third one. All right. Lay it flat again. And bring up number four to that other hinge area that we, that we burnished. Okay. So now you've got your four um, hinges for your pages. So there we go. So once you're done with that, you're going to go ahead and where your score lines are on the sides, okay, you're going to go ahead and fold those back. So you're going to fold them back just like this. Okay, and you can definitely score the or burnish those down. I don't know why I keep saying score, you guys. <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying score. 
And then you're going to burnish down the other one, fold the other flap backwards, okay? Because these are going to be um, your back flaps, okay? So they're going to be like this, all right? So you're going to go ahead and grab some of your tape or your glue, whatever you would like, all right? And I apologize for the noise outside. I don't know what they're doing. I have no idea. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and <clears throat> just put our tape. Sorry, I'm out of camera. I can let me go ahead and bring this down. Alright, and I'm going to go ahead and just put tape on this right here. And then you're going to go ahead and you're going to put one more tape down. Just like this. Okay, just like that. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and grab my scissors and cut off the excess. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and you can do the same thing on this side here. So this will be like this okay when, when you turn this over and you get your you get your um, score tape on your flaps okay you're gonna fold one over this way and then you're gonna fold the other one over like this okay so then you'll have something that looks like that so I'm gonna go ahead and put score tape on this side and I'll be right back okay so here I am okay I went ahead and covered uh, both flaps with my tape and I'm just taking my tape off now this piece I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to roll over on top of here just like this okay and I want to make sure that I'm straight all right just like that and then I'm going to take the top flap here that I have my tape on and I'm just going to go ahead and roll that on top of that other piece there. Okay. So now it looks like this. Okay. Now you can see where your numbers are. Okay. And everything is good to go. So now you can go ahead and you can grab your bone folder and you can burnish this piece in here. Okay. So... I'm just burnishing down the middle flat parts, the gussets, into the tape, okay? So that's what I'm doing. Alrighty. So just want to make sure that all of this is burnished down really, really good. Alright. All righty. Now, if you have a little bit of excess paper showing right here, you can definitely um, grab your scissors and you can cut that off. Okay, so once you have everything good to go and burnish down and everything, then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and put tape on the back. Okay, so now your hinge is all done, and now we can go ahead and we can burnish this. So I'm going to go ahead and we can turn this this way. All right, and what I usually do is I lay down everything to one side and I burnish down again. Okay. And this is just ensuring that everything's going to, I like my, my hinges to easily go back and forth, 
so I'll do it like two or three times. So again, I'm just going to grab my hinges, take them to the right, burnish them down again. Right, again to the left, burnish them down again. Okay, and to the right. This just helps break up the fibers a little bit. So when you put your pages on, they're easel, they can bend easily or flap easily back and forth. Okay, and they're just not as stiff. So, alrighty, so there is our hinge. So now um, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place this to the side and we're going to make our pages. So I will be right back. All right, now we're on to our pages, and you will need four of each piece, okay? So you are going to need four pieces that are eight and a quarter by ten and a quarter, okay? And you are going to score those pieces. Um, you're going to score a half inch on the right hand or the left hand side, and then uh, that will be at the eight and a quarter inch, okay, with it up on your across your scoreboard you're going to turn it to the 10 and a quarter inch and you're going to score on the left and the right side a half inch okay and i'm going to do um, a couple with you so you'll know what i'm talking about and then you're going to need four pieces that are seven and three quarters by a nine and a quarter or nine yeah nine and a quarter <laughs> so so Okay, so you're going to need four of those. And I've already done two pages off of the camera. So I'm going to go ahead and do two pages um, on the camera. So I'm going to go ahead and these are the two, three, or uh, seven and three quarters by nine and a quarter. I'm going to put those off to the side here. Alrighty. And I have two pieces that are uh, eight and a quarter by ten and a quarter. Okay, so the first piece that is the um, eight and a quarter inch piece we're going to have along the top of our scoreboard. All right, and I'm going to score a half inch down. Okay, I'm going to turn this to the ten and a quarter inch side and I'm going to score a half inch here. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and score, I'm going to turn it and score a half inch on the other side. All right. So I'm going to do the, the do that for both pieces. Again, the other piece that is eight and a quarter by ten and a quarter, I'm going to go ahead and score, or yeah, score down a half inch on the left hand side. I'm going to turn it, score down a half inch. All right turn it to the other side and score a half inch all right just like that okay and then we are done with our score point all righty okay so for these two pieces that we've just scored you're going to grab your scissors and where your x is you're going to go ahead and cut straight across just like that Alrighty. You're going to cut right where that X is, all right, on both of those pieces. Then what you're going to do is we are going to go ahead and we're going to fold those pieces over. All right, and that is going to form like a little pocket. Okay. Okay, just like that okay and now we're going to go ahead and grab the other one and do the same thing And I'm just um, making sure I got the edges of that scored really good because you want to get make sure that these this forms an angle here. 
okay, for your next piece because that's what you're going to glue on here. All right, so you're going to grab your glue or your score tape, whatever one you choose to use. And I'm going to go ahead and put my glue right down here in just a minute. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and grab my glue and I'm just going to go ahead and score, I mean, um, put my glue down <laughs> right on the edges here. Okay. Oops. That's too much glue. You don't want too much glue on there, guys. Not too much. All right. Okay. All right. So you're going to go ahead and grab your nine and three uh, quarters by nine and a quarter inch. And this is how um, I'm going to show you how to do it. So you're going to go ahead and we didn't put any glue up here. Okay. And that's okay. So right here is where we're going to go ahead and angle this. I want to make sure I got this right. Okay. And um, you're going to place, I'm going to place a little bit of more glue right here. So it does catch. Okay. So you want to make sure you have enough glue right here on your um, little um, angles. Okay. And you're going to grab your piece of your other piece. You're going to lay that right in that corner there. Okay. And then you're going to bring that over to this area. Okay. You're just going to slide. Go ahead and and glide that over to the edge of your piece, okay, your bottom piece, and glue that on there, okay, just adhere that on there just like that. As you're doing that, this will line up with this piece down here, and you're going to go ahead and make sure that it just lines up, okay, just like that, all right. And there you go. So now that you have those two pieces together, and I'm going to go ahead and push that over. Okay, I'm going to, then I'm going to go ahead and put glue down here. Okay. Just like that. Alrighty. going to be glued on there just like that all right so there is our page so there is that so that is how you're going to add your pages together okay if you're new to scrapbooking or making a mini album um, that's how you're going to do that okay so we're going to go ahead and do the next one together so there is your page now um, remember, you want to have one side that is open because that is what's going to fit in your hinge, right? So you're going to, your opening is always going to be to your left hand side, okay? So there's that one. Now we're going to go ahead and do the other one, okay? And I'm going Alrighty. Okay, so for the next one, okay, um, again, I'm going to go ahead and grab my glue, put a little bit here on the edge, have some on that little corner air angled area there, okay, and then bring that up here. Alright, I'm going to grab my seven and three quarter inch, or nine in quarter inch piece lay that on top of there do put that on the corner first okay slide that up to the edge of the page there okay make sure that it's up here on the edge of this page here okay and there we go so that is good Alrighty, and then we can go ahead and glue this top part. Okay, top part, just put some glue right there on the edges. Okay. 
Okay. And now you can go ahead and just burnish those down. Just like that. All right. So you just want to make sure that your corners at, um, start with the corner first and then bring your pages down um, or your, your piece of paper down. Make sure that they're, you know, um, even with at the edge of the bottom piece that you're adhering to. And then do uh, make sure that the above piece corner is matched up pretty good. Okay. And now we've got our pages. So we've got one, two, and we've got three and four. So we've got four pages um, for our book. And we've got, we already did our hinge. So um, the next thing I want you to do is I want you to mark your pages. Okay. And this just makes it so much easier for you to put them when you're putting them in order and also when you're covering them so you know which pages are what so i always mark mine at page one okay page two page three and page four all right so that way they match up with my hinges okay <laughs> because we have four hinges four pages <laughs> so so, okay, so we have our four pages done. Um, and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cover the inside of our book with our paper. And we are going to go ahead and also um, I'm going to show you what we're doing with our pages. Okay, so we've got some flips, flaps, and pockets, and a waterfall to do. So I will, so I will be sharing that with you in just a bit. I'll be back. Hey y'all, thanks for joining me today for the part one of the Home Again album. If you are new to my channel, down in the right hand corner, there is a smiley face and you can press that little circle to subscribe to my channel. In the left hand corner, there is the video for the walkthrough on this mini album. Thanks for joining me.